I'll be demoing the Immersive Reader, which is built in and free and part of many Office apps. I'm going to launch Word for Web right here. Now I'm in the free version of Word, and I'm going to go to the View menu, and I'm going to click Immersive Reader. Now I'm in the Immersive Reader, and what we did was we took the latest science and research around reading, and we focused inclusively to help solve all sorts of challenges around reading. So first off, let's make this full screen. In the upper right, I'll click here. Now at the bottom, you're going to see a play button, and when I click play, you're going to see text-to-speech. The study of Earth's landforms is called physical geography. Now that's a high-grade neural text-to-speech voice, and also text-to-speech is now built into Word along with Word and line highlighting, which is a proven technique for some people to help with focus and comprehension. I can click voice settings at the bottom and make it faster or slower voice, and I can choose male or female voice. I can also change the way the page looks. So when I click on the AA in the upper right, I've got some options. So we know for some people who experience visual crowding, if I click increase spacing, this can reduce visual crowding for some people. I can change the background colors of the themes. So many people don't like to read with a white or a black background. I've got many options to choose from, and these are tuned for accessibility. So I can choose a color theme that works for me. I chose Comic Sans. This is designed for younger readers. Many students prefer the way the A and the G are written and that that's how younger children are taught to write. I can make the text size much bigger if I scroll up here. So think about short line mode or think about English language learners or think about students with vision impairments. It's really easy to customize the way that the page looks. Now next up, I'm going to click on grammar options. And we know there's a very common technique breaking words into syllables. And I'll clap my hands like this. Syllables. Many students are taught that way. Some students with dyslexia will prefer syllable breakdowns. So by clicking syllables, I can break the words into syllables with a single click. I can highlight the nouns on the page with a single click or the verbs. I can highlight the adjectives or even the adverbs. And I can customize the colors very easily. Maybe I want the verbs to be red. And maybe I want to turn a couple of these off, and maybe I want to show labels, which puts a visual distinguishing mark in case I have challenges with colors. So you can see it's very personalizable, and it's easy for me to do. Next up, I'm going to make the background color blue, and I'm going to go to reading preferences and choose line focus. Now let's think about students with ADHD or maybe students with cerebral palsy, students with dyslexia. This is like a reading ruler, like an overlay. And see how I can scroll up and down with these arrows? I can read it out loud. Glaciers or rivers. Landforms are sometimes called physical features. So it's really easy to customize. And I can choose one line or three lines or five lines. It's really easy to customize in a way that works best for me. I can click on a word and get a picture. So we call this picture dictionary. Earths. Earths. Click on mountains. Mountains. Or valleys. Valleys. I can also translate, and this is really powerful. We can translate in over 67 languages here. And so I've chosen Spanish, and I'm going to turn on by word, and now I'm going to click on Earth. Earth. English. Tierra. Spanish. English. Mountains. Montaña. But I can also translate the entire document. So I'm going to click on document. And now let's read that out loud. El estudio de las formas terrestres de la Tierra se llama geografía. And if that's too fast, I can slow it down a little bit. Física. Las formas de tierra pueden... And I can go back to the original or Spanish. And you can see it still highlights the parts of speech, the nouns, the verbs, and the adjectives in Spanish. So all of these capabilities are built right into the Immersive Reader, which is free and part of Word. It's also in Teams, OneNote, Flipgrid, Minecraft, Forms, Whiteboard, and Office Lens.